Hi, this is Leslie Walker, Development and Communications Coordinator for Preservation Austin. Today, we're gonna go inside 3805 Red River, also known as the McFarland House. One of the defining features of this house are these protruding fins with portholes in them. The streamlined modern style came after Art Deco and was really inspired by the industrial designs of ships and train cars from the 1930s and 40s. The streamlined modern style continues inside, most notably with the handrail that goes up to the second floor. This is the large family room that was designed by James McFarland for his family. Uh, it's unusual how many windows are in this space and I'm sure it's because he wanted to have so much natural light and uh, Hancock Golf Course is just right across the street. The large windows that we saw in the living room continue on into the dine-in kitchen. Preservation Austin decided to install marmoleum flooring, which is very similar to a product that would have existed when this house was first built in the 1940s. The cabinets countertops and backsplash are all original. The color scheme that we chose for the flooring was pulled from the tile here. We're standing in the bedroom right at the top of the stairs on the second level and you can see that these windows continue on upstairs. Just a lot of natural light in this space and another really wonderful feature about this house are these built-in chests of drawers and the closet that rounds the corner here. The tile and fixtures in the bathrooms are all original to when the house was built in 1947. And there's some opportunity to see uh, just how um, well-designed and then some awkward designs about this house. Uh, the, the door can't open fully because of the toilet and I think that's a really charming detail because uh, James McFarland designed this house himself. He did not use an architect. Continuing our tour of the second floor, we're entering the main bedroom and you can see just how many windows are in this space that just allow for an incredible amount of natural light. Uh, we have another built-in chest of drawers here and then the closet again rounds the corner uh, and it really you know, gives us that, that streamlined modern style with those, those curved edges. I'm gonna take you out onto the balcony that's uh, connected to the main bedroom. So this Ipe wood that we have laid down here for the decking came from Eastside Lumber. They donated the product to us, uh, which we're so grateful for and it's such a beautiful wood to have uh, in the space, it's, it's weather resistant. Uh, also, we had to redo some of the railing because that was, it wasn't safe and, um, but we, we had original photographs of, of what the railing looked like so we were able to reconstruct it. To conclude our tour of the McFarland House, I'm gonna take you outside to show you one of Preservation Austin's favorite details and that's Mary's doghouse. Mary was the McFarland's dog when they built this house in 1947. And it's just so sweet that they included her in the design uh, of their home. Preservation Austin purchased the McFarland house in the spring of 2019. And we began researching what the house looked like uh, when it was built in 1947. And one detail that we wanted to make sure we got right was the color palette. We were able to speak with John McFarland, James McFarland's son, uh, and he confirmed that the, the pale blue stripe at the bottom and the navy trim at the top and the handrails and, and balcony, that was what his dad originally chose. Uh, because he was inspired by Miami and South Florida, where he traveled a lot for work. I hope you enjoyed your tour of the McFarland House. For more info on this iconic home's history, visit preservationaustin.org. Special thanks to our sponsors, David Wilson Garden Design, WLE, Hudson Gallagher, Chuck Cottle Flooring, Eastside Lumber and Decking, Sherwin-Williams, and an inside job interior design.